All right, welcome back, everybody. The Soweto Art and Craft Fair is becoming popular among many. Artists and crafters are given a platform to showcase and sell their works. The public, on the other hand, is given an experience unlike any other. To tell us more, we are joined uh, by the organizer of the event, Christine Msibi. Good to have you. Welcome to Morning Thank Live. Thank you for having me. Oh, it's an absolute pleasure. So. You're telling me this has become a regular event now. It's not. It's, it's actually on the first Saturday of every single month you have this, this fair. Yes. So from March to November, it's the first Saturday of every month. And yeah. then in December, we have almost uh, the best of <laughs> on Reconciliation Day on the 16th. Fantastic. And tell me, how did it all begin? Okay, well, the Soweto Art and Craft Fair is actually a concept by some 20-something-year-olds, and they go by the name of Dream to Reality. And they did it for the first year without any sort of supervision and support other than the Soweto Theatre allowing them to host it there. And then in 2014, Concerts SA and Josie Unsigned jumped on board as supporters of this initiative, which effectively aims to reignite the spirit of culture in Soweto, where once upon a time culture was a very you know, relevant thing to Absolutely. how people conducted themselves. So it's yeah. about bringing back that relevance of culture and getting people to fall in love again with art, with music, with everything. Yeah, well that, that was what I was going to say, is that this is not necessarily only about crafts, because there's so much more to it. Yeah, it's How? not just How about crafts. Work? What is it? Well, for instance, we have live music on the event of the show as well, which... <laughs> um, what that does is helps us to teach audiences to appreciate live music and the value of having somebody perform for you so that in future going forward, because a lot of the work we do is aimed at reigniting the live music scene as well. So if in future we can get audiences to appreciate sitting and watching a performance, then hopefully we can get them into paying for it and we can create a sustainable economy through that. Has it helped um, up and coming artists of all forms? Oh, wow, it really, really has. We've had a track record of some amazing acts. Just last month, we had Nam Samazwai, who's now off to the UN to do something with the other. Oh, wow. And this month, we have Moonchild Sunnily, who is a formidable ghetto future funk artist. Yeah. And we've had the likes of BCUC, Msaki. There's very many of them to mention, and all of them are onto some amazing things. That's fantastic. And it's just something like this. It's just a platform to give them, to, to come out, to show their stuff, sell their stuff, and who knows who's going to discover you there, and that's what's so exciting about yes, it. Yes, that's precisely what the point is, especially considering that if you're mainstream and perhaps you have a management that help you out, you don't need this sort of platform. This is for people who haven't had the exposure. This is for people who are on the brink of something new and exciting. And at the end of the day, because it is a really special occasion and it's family friendly yeah. and it's free, and so everybody just has a good time in the name of a good cause. Absolutely. Now, if, I mean, if, if I perhaps have something and I would like to get involved and display my stuff. Am I able to? What do I do? Do I just pitch up or do I actually have to sort of contact us? Contact yes. you first. I imagine that's Yes, the... you would need to have gotten a hold of us first. I would suggest primarily on Facebook okay. if you look for the Soweto Art and Craft Fair. Soweto Art and um, Craft Fair. And then just inbox your intention saying, hi, I'd like a stall, I'd like a table. The fees are really affordable. Mm -hmm. It's a once-off payment of 150 to start with. Yeah. And then every month it's 50 rand. But that's so that's negotiable. That's should you find yourself in the position where even you that's too much for you? That. Yeah. Yes. That's, that is, I mean, I think that is very, very reasonable. And, uh, and I mean, it just gives you such a great opportunity. But you mentioned right in the beginning that, the, that uh, this coming Saturday, the 6th of June, this is a big one, yes. a particularly big one. Uh, elaborate a little bit more. What, what can you expect? Well, June is Youth Month, and the Soweto Art and Craft Fair is spearheaded by the youth. So with the Youth Month celebrations, we have a young artist again, um, Moonchild, who has just launched her album, Rabu Lata. And um, we, we've got a really, we've focused a lot on the spirit of youth. Plus, we've got the Kasi Movie Nights, which is another event that tries to get cinema around, you know, townships specifically. So they'll be jumping on board this month too with the Kasi Movie Nights, and they'll be showing a movie called Of Good Report. Fantastic. Yes. I wish you the best of luck. Thank Everybody you. Everybody go down there. I imagine it's from the morning. Yes, um, doors open, so to speak, at 12 o'clock. Okay. So it's from 12 o'clock right through until 6 p.m. effectively. Excellent. And it's free, so come and spend yeah. money on exactly. some awesome Just locally go and crafted stuff. And support the local talent that's out there. Yes. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for And good me. luck for uh, every Saturday, but particularly this Saturday, a very, ex uh, a very um, uh, special one, uh, particularly for the youth. Christine Msibi, thank you for talking to us about the Soweto Aft and craft fair that's really becoming uh, a massive uh, a massive popular destination for many people to go over the weekends thanks again thank you and thank you so much for watching hope you have a wonderful day